Hello, I'm Dr. Don Cohen, the Chief Clinical Officer for Health First. And today we're going to talk about opioid overdose and how to respond to it. Today we're going to talk about the prevalence of opioid overdose emergencies, the antidote for opioid overdose, identifying opioid overdoses, the steps for naloxone administration, the possible side effects of naloxone administration. So the prevalence of opioid emergencies. In recent years, deaths from opioid overdose have been increasing dramatically and are happening all over the United States. As healthcare professionals, people have even come to the dentist for help with emergencies happening outside in the parking lot. You never know when you may come across an opioid overdose emergency. And because of that, it is important to be ready to recognize and to respond to overdose emergency. The antidote. The primary drug needed to reverse the effects of an opioid overdose is naloxone. Naloxone is an important drug for every dentist to have in their emergency medical kit. For swiftness and ease of administration of naloxone, we use the Narcan nasal spray in our SM series kits. For our more advanced kits, like the SMZ and the Mobile ACLS, we include injectable naloxone. Identifying opioid emergencies. If you encounter someone who is unresponsive and you suspect an overdose, shake their shoulder and shout their name. If they do not respond, check for the common symptoms of opioid overdose, including constricted pupils, low or no respiratory rate, cyanosis, a bluish discoloration of the skin, or a low pulse rate or absence of pulse. Have a staff member call 911. If an opioid overdose is suspected, Narcan can help, but the patient may need additional care as well that can only be administered at the hospital. While your staff member is calling 911, get your AED and attach the pads to the patient and turn it on. If the AED advises a shock, that treatment supersedes any of the following steps. If it does not advise a shock, or after the shock has been delivered, follow these steps. To administer Narcan nasal spray, peel back the package to remove the device. Do not prime the device as there is very little fluid and any priming may reduce the total dose delivered to the patient. Place and hold the tip of the nozzle in either nostril until your fingers touch the bottom of the patient's nose. Press the plunger firmly to release the dose into the patient's nose. After administering the first dose, check for breathing and a pulse. If there is none, administer CPR for two to three minutes. If after two to three minutes the patient does not begin to breathe normally, administer a second dose of naloxone using the second unused spray in the opposite nostril from the one you administered the first dose. Administering naloxone may result in acute opiate withdrawal symptoms, which can include body aches, diarrhea, tachycardia, nausea, vomiting, or other more minor reactions. Naloxone is an incredibly valuable and safe drug to have in any dental office's emergency medical kit. Thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions about naloxone or opioid emergencies, please contact us at 800-331-1984 or contact your dedicated account representative.